Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to give you a quick overview of how to integrate the menu system distributed with this plugin into your game and basically introduce the elements that we have implemented here. So uh, this is what you get out of the box. You have continue, new game, credits, settings and quit. So under settings, you have audio, graphics, display, controls, gameplay uh, options and everything is implemented here. If like this so you are already familiar with all these things they are standard pretty much standard for all the games that we have played so yeah so now this is the main menu and so if you want to know where this demo level is located once you install the plugin into either your project or your engine depending on where you have copied it uh, it will show up here under plugin if you have installed it added this into your project as a local plugin and under this you can find under CLM menu system content you can see the maps let me reset these filters here here CLM menu system content and maps you see this in case you don't see these files or folders make sure that you have enabled plugin content and perhaps engine contents too uh, so then you will be able to see them so if you have installed the plugin into your engine then you should see it under these plugins section okay now main menu features uh, demonstrates how you can use this plugin in the main menu and this game menu demonstrates how you can use this plugin with the game level so here just like any game if you press escape or oh, I have added P as well in case you are testing with this the editor you can use P to pause because escape closed the uh, play session so here you can see resume settings and main menu similar to the uh, main menu settings are same thing as in the main menu okay so this is where you find your stuff now uh, let's say you want to map your own function to the new game or continue game buttons this is where you can do it if you head to the uh, menu system content ui widgets you can see here under main menu you can open this widget and here you can see all the buttons available so continue resume new game so the post menu and main menu is essentially the same class but depending on where you use it you will see only the relevant buttons so here let's say you want to assign your own function to continue you can find the demo function that is currently bound to continue button here it's just basically open a new level same thing is bound to the new game button as well the new game button means this one here so here you can connect this execution line to your own function or event or call whatever you need depending on how you want to load your game and in the similarly if you are in the post menu this is the post menu here uh, this is also a child of the main menu and this main menu button that means this button over here the function bound to that is over here it's just calling the main menu level right now so here also you can bind this to whatever the function that you want to call when the player play press main menu button from the post menu in your game so that's basically about the menu also here let me show you one more thing uh, this is credits so all the credits are initialized if you select the root uh, this base element you can see dt credits here you can add the role and the category so uh, the category role and name depending on your project so they will automatically appear in the credits screen and also how do you 
initialize this uh, main menu or the game menu so in the main menu level you can see i'm using this game mode main menu but the important thing here is this hard main menu class this is where we this is how we create the menu system so here in the begin play we create the wvp base layout and into this base layout we push the main menu class which is the main menu widget that i showed you earlier and then we show it in the ui so when we show it when we push main menu widget into the base layout it will automatically appear in case you don't want to use this game mode in case you have your own game mode with your own hard class then you can just copy this part uh, into your hard class and also you can implement this interface bpi hard which has this function push widget which is already implemented here you can see you can implement it in your own hard class so that the menu system will seamlessly work with your hard class as well this is used from other menu widgets to bring different menu widgets into the screen like settings pages in the same way you can see in the game level i have used gm game mode game and here also i have a separate hard class called hard in game this is also same as the main menu hard but here as the widget i don't initially add the main at the first menu i only add it only when it is required which is called through this show post menu and remove post menu when we want to hide it and this is also implemented in this ppi hard interface so in case you want to use your own hard class you can just copy these parts where what which are responsible for showing the post menu and setting up uh, the things required to bring the main menu when it is needed and also you will have to you can implement this show post menu and remove post menu as well in your hard class so that's pretty much all but in case you need more detailed information on how each and everything is implemented you can refer to this playlist where everything is implemented and explained from scratch i'll link this in the description below so here you can see in detail all the things you need to fully customize your the menu system according to your needs or build even if you want you can build something completely different following these guides on your own as well so yeah thanks for watching and if you have further questions feel free to let leave a comment in the uh, down below or wherever you guys can reach me out mm, thank you bye